Hello, my name is Ian, and today I wanted to share a quick tip about distorting or undistorting your footage or CG. So a problem you can run into if you're doing a camera track and you've got a lot of lens distortion on the lens you use to get your footage is your CG elements will not be distorting the same way that your footage is. And even if you have a really good track, that can lead to slipping and making your CG elements just look like they're not part of your footage when you're finished. So here's the quick fix for that. You can see here, I've got my original clip pretty much tracked and all set to be solved for the camera motion. And what I'm gonna do is select optical center and radial distortion here. And that will just kind of automatically figure out how the lens is distorting the footage. Let's just make sure real quick before we get too much deeper that our camera has the right sensor width. And mine is a micro four thirds sensor. So that is 17 millimeters. And down here is all the numbers that it figures out when you solve for the radial distortion. So if you click solve camera motion, that'll figure it all out. And now for a test scene, I have created this kind of basic geometry of the scene that's already here. And we've got some of these nice test textures just to show you what's going on. And as I play this, you can see, yeah, it's tracking pretty nicely, but we can do a little bit better. So if we go into the compositing, you can see here I've got this setup where we've got the original movie clip, we've got the render layers of the shot I just showed you, and that's going into a multiply and then out to the composite. So we can fix the distortion in a couple of ways here. We can either distort the render layers or we can undistort the original movie clip. So let's just go shift A in the distortion menu. I'm gonna use movie distortion. And you can see here, it's automatically got our clip already lined up. Make sure you set that if you've got multiple clips that you've tracked but we can just drop this in here and it's set to undistort. And you can see the difference if we just look at it really quick here. If we mute this node, you can see the edges are just a little bit less warped. Cool. So now if we go to the final output, our CG render should actually be matching up a little bit better and you'll probably see a little bit less slipping going on. Now, if you were happy with the lens distortion of your original clip, what you can actually do is duplicate this node and slam it on top of the end and switch it from undistort to distort. And now we've got kind of this sandwich where we undistort it, add in our CG, and then distort everything again back to the original. The only downside of this, if you look at the edges, is you can see your render kind of ends because it was distorted inwards. So that could be a little bit of a problem. You might want to crop into the footage a little bit. Normally you probably won't have a CG element completely blanketing your whole scene. So that probably wouldn't be super noticeable. Another cool thing about this distortion node is maybe we just want our CG footage to have realistic lens distortion. So we could grab that and have it calculated from our footage and just slam it right on top of our CG layer and now we've got a realistic lens distortion that came from an actual lens. And that could just help add to the imperfections of your CG render and make it a little bit more photorealistic. Cool. So with wide angles, that should help quite a bit to help your CG elements track in quite a bit better and for you to get rid of a lot of that sliding that happens around the edges of the frame. Before I sign off here, I've got a gift for you. It's this asset pack of looping smoke elements that are seamless, and this is completely free. Just helps you add a lot more life to those renders that need smoke stacks and stuff going on like that. So if that sounds useful to you, there's a link in the description for that. And once again, that's just my gift to you. But hey, we're pretty much done here. I hope you have an excellent day and cheers.